Let me talk about old Toyota diesel oil filters. So in the late 80s and into the 90s when Toyota was developing their diesel engine lineup, which would see service all the way up to the early to mid 2000s, they chose a pretty specific oil filter which Denso created for them. It was a twin element oil filter. And that oil filter basically served in 90% of Toyota's diesel engine lineup. From the 1K ZTE engine in my Toyota High Super Custom, which also saw service in the Hilux and the Forerunner um, and the Prado, all the way up to like the engines that was used in the Toyota Coaster buses and the Land Cruisers and things like that. A twin element oil filter is basically a spin-on oil filter like you would normally see on most other cars except for the most modern things. Uh, except on the inside it has two separate cartridges. Those cartridges hold uh, two different levels of filtration media. And what that does is just prolongs its ability to keep the engine oil clean and therefore in service. And it also keeps the oil filter itself from gumming up and clogging up too quickly. I think that's why Toyota has specified the service intervals for an engine like the one that's in my car. 5,000 kilometer oil changes, but the oil filter only needs to be changed every 10,000 kilometers. A lot of people will argue otherwise, and I used to be in that camp until recently. I genuinely think that Toyota knew what they were doing when they specified 10,000 kilometer oil filter changes. Engine oil every 5,000, but the filter can be done every second service. And I think a big part of that comes down to the twin element oil filter that they use. These engines are known to have basically an indefinite lifespan if you look after them. And looking after them as per Toyota's manual would mean using a twin element oil filter. The only trouble is the twin element oil filters, at least here in Australia, can be quite pricey, the genuine Denso ones, sometimes nearly 50 bucks uh, Australian, which is quite a lot to spend on just an oil filter. However, it's not the end of the world because there are plenty of aftermarket options. The trouble is most of the aftermarket options are not a twin element oil filter, but some are. And the trouble is that oil filter manufacturers are just horrible at marketing. They're like tire companies. They create something amazing and then never tell anyone about it. Uh, I have found one though, and I've been using this filter for quite a long time. Uh, I'm a believer in this brand because they make OEM filters for a bunch of different manufacturers. I've worked at premium workshops where they only use the best quality items, Penrite Oil and a whole bunch of different uh, brands that are top shelf. But on the shelves at those workshops were Sakura filters. This is one that I use in Vision in my van. Um, it is a Sakura C1112. It's a very heavy filter uh, and it feels very similar to a genuine Toyota filter. Sometimes if I get uh, Toyota filters for a good price, I'll use the genuine Denso ones. Otherwise, this is usually one third of the price of a genuine filter. It looks and feels just like uh, a normal Toyota filter. It's about the same size as well. But on here and on the box, um, they've got the Sakura logo and there's like a accreditation for uh, manufactured under quality management system, things like that, like ISO. Um, but what they don't mention is that this is a twin element oil filter designed in spec to be just as good as the genuine Denso product. Why they would go through all that trouble to design this and make sure that it's perfect and um, a top shelf product and then not tell anyone about it is beyond me. But if you go to the Sakura website and you punch in C1112 for this oil filter, uh, in some fine print uh, under the spec sheet, uh, you will see that it is ticked as a dual element oil filter. So yeah, you don't have to break the bank uh, if you just want really good products to service your car with. You can uh, grab a few of these uh, for the price of just one genuine Toyota oil filter. And yeah, if you are comfortable as I am, doing oil changes every 5,000 kilometers and changing the filter every 10,000, you know that the dual element filtration media inside this will not be blocked up. It won't be hindering any oil flow. You won't have any issues whatsoever um, or be doing any damage even in the long run by running this all the way up to 10,000. Whereas if you just had a single stage oil filter, you might want to swap that out every 5,000 kilometers with the engine oil. Thanks so much for your time. Goodbye.